Hey guys, um, sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been doing name logs. That's what's underneath that canvas. I've got a ton of name logs done for Christmas, so I don't want to reveal anything yet on those. But today, I'm doing something different. I'm carving a channel cat. That's right, channel catfish. It goes with one of the name logs that I'm doing, so stay tuned. Watch this. It's gonna be awesome. Hopefully it works out good. I got some tricks I'm gonna do for like the whiskers and stuff to make them a little simpler and last a little longer. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please. Uh, thanks for supporting my channel. And check this out. It's gonna be badass. <laughs> Look at all my chainsaw. All right, here's the log I'm doing the catfish out of. I've kind of. Yeah, I kind of whittled it a little bit already, so you kind of see the flow of it. So, tail's going to be here. Body's going to go back this way. His head's going to be up here. I'm going to carve this without the fins. I'm going to add the fins later. I think it will be easier uh, to do. Um, I think the, it'll hold up better, too. So, um, a little trick with the whiskers. I'll show you in a bit. But I'll get it uh, time-lapsed up here so you can see kind of how it goes. And... Um, go from there, so stay tuned. Alright, I got the bark peeled a little bit just so I can sketch the profile of this catfish on this side. I've got the... kind of got the profile of it, you can see. It's going to be kind of have a little movement to it so it's straight and stiff. So... Let me get my reference photo real quick and we'll sketch this fish on here real quick. Okay, I got my reference photo. I don't know if you can see it. Channel catfish, so let's get this sketched out here and see. Just that as we're carving it, but that's the gist of how it's gonna look. I'll probably make it a little fatter than that, but just a uh, just a quick guide. So let's get to chopping. gonna be on a name log sitting out like by a road or by the end of the driveway so it's not gonna be um, it's not gonna be a display piece up close in the yard where people are gonna you know walk up and notice that this is something that people are gonna see from the roadway so that's why the fins are thicker than normal um, I do have a couple more fins to add here here that's why the fins are a little thicker than normal because it's it's going to be further away and needs to last a long time. You have the weather all the time, so that's the reasoning behind that. So. so this guy is now the glue will dry and set up on those. And once that does, then I'll sand the fins down and make them a little nicer. All right, guys, this is the catfish on Ellie out of the way, goofball. This is a catfish mounted on the name log. So I'll kind of show you what I did. I airbrushed it, some speckles on it. And then I uh, coated everything in oil. Um, Cabot's Australian Timber Oil. I used uh, 
I used rubber hose for the whiskers here and the chin whiskers I use zip ties just glued them in place these I just put some pegs wooden dowel pegs slip some rubber uh, fuel line or vacuum hose over the top but then I mounted it so this is removable so they can take it off they don't want to display the catfish all season long just on a couple pegs sitting in there at an angle but that that's it that's detailed out on both sides so that is it and underneath that tarp there's a whole ton of Christmas gifts that people have ordered so I won't show you those yet but as soon as I can I will thanks for watching guys and like and subscribe please please please